out of South Carolina, is on the phone, uh, the only African-American senator in the United States Senate. Uh, uh, senator, what, what did Nelson Mandela mean to you? Well, if I tell you, he was just an iconic figure and a, a transformational leader. I think of some of the writings that I read about what he said when he was in prison, and one of the thoughts that have always stuck with me is that he, he, he learned humility in a time when most of us would become bitter, he was becoming better. And it's, it's remarkable, as I think through 27 years, a third of his adult life behind bars, having lost his freedom, he never lost his freedom to think. And those are things that stuck with me. I, I can't get his quote exactly right, but one of the things he says is, when you have an objective in life, then you want to concentrate on that objective and not on your enemies. And a part of why I think he was so transformational was that upon his release, he sought reconciliation and not revenge. And these are lessons that I think are just timeless and that I need to remember for myself. And one of the other things that he seemed to be very famous for is instead of trying to change the world, perhaps we should start by changing ourselves. And that may be the fastest way to change the world. So as, as a young man growing up, uh, he, I assume you watched him, you learned from him, Senator, and he inspired you. Absolutely. When I think back to the, the lines during that presidential race back in the 95, 94, I think back to the time when he was running for president, those lines that were just hours and hours and thousands and thousands of people, it, it spoke to me that his humility had struck a chord throughout the nation, his nation and that he had become perhaps the most powerful person in his, in his time at that time. And I was excited for the country. I was excited for where he was going to take them. And I was excited about the fact that a man having spent 27 years behind bars could experience perhaps the absolute opposite of, of what he experienced in jail, which was total freedom and the ability to set others free, which I think is the mark that he will have left on this earth. Well said, uh, Senator Tim Scott, the only uh, Republican African-American senator. Uh, senator, thank you very much. These are live pictures from uh, Johannesburg.